Welcome to the Chet TV Newsroom, I'm Trevor McManus and here are your top stories. A cougar is being spotted in the Peace Region. A big award was given out for long time dedication. Quilting, grunting and gouging all coming up on your news. Starting off with a quick warning for residents of the Peace. Cougars may be out and about and have been spotted near residential areas. Please use caution when walking in the wilderness, especially with children and small animals. Walking in large groups and making noise will give the cougars the chance to retreat and reduce the likelihood of a sudden encounter. Staying in Chetwin, where on council Monday evening, Mayor Merlin Nichols returned to town from his trip to the Vancouver Island. It was right back to business for our mayor. Uh, council <laughs> Nichols appeared in the, uh, well, it was not at UBC ever, but he appeared by magic there. Uh, on the big screen through Skype. So. Mm -hmm. Excellent, um, and uh, if I can speak now, I appreciate uh, uh, my fellow councillors' uh, efforts and uh, serious work to do all the things necessary to allow me to Skype, be Skyped and uh, to support me in this. Uh, I really wish I could have been there for that moment in time. But anyway, I do appreciate all you guys have done for me, and uh, it was wonderful to be able to uh, uh, be there on Skype and uh, uh, see uh, the rest of you guys a little bit at your table, and it was wonderful. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. So now, on, on behalf of Council of the District of Chetwin, the administration and staff of Chetwin, and all the folks at UBCM that you've known over the last quarter of a century. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful. Councillor Bob Nichols was awarded for his 25 years of service in front of all of his peers. Staying with a nostalgic theme, the quintessential quilters have been keeping Chetwin warm and cozy since 1993, and on Saturday evening they had the opportunity to celebrate 20 years of patchwork and stitching. I can still feel the sand between my toes. I can still smell the smoke fish tickling my I'm Linda Garland and I'm one of the executive for the Quintessential Quilters Guild and we are celebrating our 20th anniversary dinner tonight and we have invited some out-of-town guests and most of our guild members are able to attend tonight. It's a celebration. We do not have any awards. So we had a challenge that we did for um, the group. Um, there were two different fabrics that went out and we have a number of quilts that were created with the challenge fabric and as well some of our members have brought um, their own quilts, that they, their favorites, some of their first ones. And we have two um, separate groups that kind of do a little extra. One works a little bit with wool and the other is an art quilt group. And they have a display here tonight as well. Looks like some of the following people could use a warm blanket as well. Sunday's Ghost Mountain Grunt was a huge success. 72 participants raced through the Baldy Loop backwards passing through Ghost Mountain. So, you like long walks on the beach and running the grunt? You having fun? So, so far, yeah. So far, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the easy part. Yeah, 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 pretty good at this part. What's the biggest obstacle you think you'll face? Uh, that thing right there. On your mark! Get set! Go! You're here at the Ghost Mountain Grunt the second time. Yeah. Um, what was your time last year? Um, two thirty something. I think. Three hours and five minutes, but I walked. So they told us Absolutely. that the course is actually two kilometers longer this year than it was last year. So I'm just hoping if I can match it, 
that'll be an improvement. So. Well, you all look uh, very fit and, and excited. You know the course now. You know you know where it's all going. Um, are you expecting any obstacles or anything like that? Um, I'm hoping a bear or cougar doesn't come, but you never know. <laughs> It's a beautiful day, and it's uh, just something good to do on a Sunday. Yeah. Enjoying Chetwin and the outdoors. Do you think you're going to do a better time this year? No. Um, no. <laughs> I haven't been training. I'm not going to lie. I, I do it more for the view. I think it's beautiful yeah. in the fall. Reigning champion, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Lady Fierre! Yeah. Blaine Ethier took the title of Men's Elite and first overall with a time of 1 hour and 15 minutes, while Rowena Beatty won the Women's Elite. For the high school boys, Brandon King, Joe Hale, and Riley Shankle tied for first, while for the high school girls, Haley McFarlane and Stephanie Shankle tied for first as well. The weather held for the whole day and no injuries were reported. Moving down to Prince George now, where something is happening that seems unusual and somewhat suspicious. We are having the first gas war that we have had in Prince George in probably 20 years. Costco Gas Bar opened up this week and gas prices have plummeted in Prince George and I am very excited to say gas in Prince George is 120.9. Gas prices in Prince George dipped to just under $1.17 Monday afternoon, while the Monday average gas price across Canada was sitting at $1.27 a litre. Moving to the pitch now, where players, fans and fundraisers all got together this weekend for a great cause. Batting for boobies. So we just um, did our finals in the batting for boobies uh, baseball tournament for Veronica Nusik. And uh, on the men's side, our winners were Light em Up um, from Grand Prairie and Fort St. John. And from the ladies' side was, side was the Hooters. Uh, and they're made up of Chetwin, Fort St. John, and Dawson Creek as well. The tournament, well, all the proceeds are going to Veronica Nusik. She's battling. Um, breast cancer, um, so traveling expenses, that sort of thing. We had 11 teams um, at $200 entry fee, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we also did um, some fun games and uh, charged uh, $2 per person for entry for that. Um, we also had a draw um, for a panini machine, so yeah. Very you know. good. We, I think we did, and then they, and in the end, the teams donated um, the money, the prize money back. So that was six hundred dollars donated back. So yeah. Do you think this will be an ongoing thing? Um, we talked about that. That we'd like to choose um, someone from the community each year, and yeah, put this on for cool. someone. Yeah. Including the $300, the winning team gave back a grand total of $2,373 were raised to help Veronica Nusek's battle. Stay tuned, Joe, as your five-day weather forecast coming up next inside the Chetwind Newsroom. I'm Trevor McManus.